Budget Blinds. Visit their showroom or call today for a free in-home consultation. To hockey now, it's no secret the Lloydminster Bobcats coaches aren't happy with their defensive game. While a few players have key injuries to the top D-men, that hasn't really helped out the cause at all. Now the club is looking at different ways to bolster that blue line. So from chemistry to communication, time is certainly running out for its defense that is trying to get its act together. Nermanisa reports. Coach Gore Thibodeau didn't hold back in practice this week. During a drill that focused on communication between the defensemen and forwards, he got his message across loud and clear. Trying to make sure our defensemen stand up and hold the line a little bit more. We've been giving up the line too easily in previous games, so um, you know a lot of that is communication with the forwards coming back, and uh, we haven't been very good at that, so we really stressed that point today. And as you saw, we still have to improve upon that. Um, you know, you get frustrated because guys just don't want to talk. Like we haven't been communicating to our full potential. Like we could definitely always use it because it's always handy in the game. It tells you where everyone is and everything. So I think that is a huge factor. It's been an issue all year. So I think if we pick that up, we'll be good to go. Communication and physicality. Two things Thibodeau wants his blue liners to improve on. The amount of hits they've dished out in games has gone down. Mistakes in their own end have ended up in the back of the net. You need to talk out there, so guys can't really read your mind. You can't kind of expect guys to go certain places. You need to talk to them, kind of, and that's big. Gord's kind of harped on it a lot in practice, and like you said, in practice here, he's kind of told us, guys, you need to communicate because that's what we need to do to be successful. The blue line saw a lot of turnover this season with injuries to key players like Alex Pernitsky and Graydon Smith, along with some trades. But the club picked up Griffin Mumby, a six-foot presence with Western Hockey League experience, something the team hopes will provide a spark. I mean, this is my fourth year in, uh, in junior, so... Um, a lot of experience and kind of that calming presence. Uh, big body back there, so uh, a strong defensive and a, a pass first kind of mentality. Thibodeau wants his boys to play with more of an edge, to make life in their own end a pain for the opposition. As a group, our defense has to be more physical. You know, we're getting some good physicality from our forwards and consistently from our forwards. We're not getting it from our defense. Naramisa, Newcap Sports. All right, to the midget Triple A's, the Bandit Pipeline Bobcats are back on the ice and in good spirits, preparing for a big weekend after a long trip to Southern Alberta. I was happy with our effort, and you know, the main thing is we got four points, and you know, now we can rest a little bit for another big weekend coming up. Uh, we've had a lot of long road trips lately, and uh, it just shows how deep our team are. Uh, when we get tired, we can still play and win games. After a long week at the Max, the Baby Cats followed it up with back-to-back -back wins over SEAC and Lethbridge. Now this weekend they pay a visit to St. Albert to take on the Raiders Saturday. The Raiders sit second last in the Dodge Division. Then they will face SSAC at home Sunday afternoon. Now Southside just two points back of the Bobcats for first place. The Cats say that they're not going to overlook the Raiders, but are excited to see what they're made of against Southside. We haven't played them yet this year. We have them uh, two weekends in a row, so it's going to be a test uh, for our hockey club and just uh, a measuring stick kind of to see where we are against them. We just got to go into it and work on good habits and just be ready for Sunday. Uh, I know Southside is close to us in the standings, and uh, they're always a good team and they're always our rival. So I think just good habits and doing the things right uh, will be fine. From a pair of games last night in the NEA JBHL, the Lloydminster Classic Oilfield Bandits dropped their third game in a row as the Tigers won this one by a score of 2-0. The Bandits are back in action Saturday when they take on the St. Paul Canadians. And the first place Wainwright Bisons were in Onion Lake to take on the Border Chiefs. The Bisons defeat the Chiefs 5-3. It's back to the hardwood for the Lakeland Rustlers basketball teams this weekend. For the ladies, it couldn't come at a better time. The Rustlers are in a class of their own last semester. The only thing stopping them over the Christmas break, and well, that was pretty much that it. Just the Christmas break, stopping 12-0. and 0. Now, over a month later, the Rustlers will try to shake off some of that rust from the holidays and continue their winning ways. For the Rustlers, it's back to business. After finishing the first half of the season with a 12-0 record, their best start in their program's history, and a huge layoff between games, the wrestlers are now back hard at work, trying to shake off any rust. We've just been practicing, um, 
getting the conditioning back, trying to, and I think mentally they are excited, ready to get back. I think they're kind of sick of practicing against each other and beating up each other. I think it's kind of just like the little things that we were really strong with at the end of second semester. We're just needing to work on a little bit more now to kind of get back in the pace that we left things off at. So it's just kind of getting back into the rhythm. A rhythm that the wrestlers are trying to simulate during practice, allowing no drop off in intensity heading into the second half of the season. We come in here, we're pushing each other to be better and be as good as we can be because we, we all know the potential this team has. So I think we're not letting anyone on this team pretty much slack off. We're all pushing each other to work our hardest every day we're in the gym. We're all really conscious about um, practicing hard and pushing each other really hard because we know that like there was a volleyball team that was undefeated and they just lost a game and we don't want to be that team. So we're all working really hard to make sure that whether the team is not necessarily a high up team, we want to make sure that we're giving it to them good so we can continue our undefeated streak to playoffs. And the road begins with taking on the Augustana Vikings, a team that they beat handily to open the season. If history is any indication, the wrestlers shouldn't have a problem this time either. But the wrestlers know as the leaders of the pack, there's a lot of people that are going to be chasing them for top spot. Being undefeated and being ranked, like there's a huge target. And the teams pick up different uh, players and run new stuff second semester, so it's a whole new ball game. Every team's going to have a good scout on us like Augustana. They're going to know what we're going to bring to the table and... I think it's just going to have to make us work that much harder each quarter of the game. We're really going to have to push our hardest. They have like nothing to lose when they come play an undefeated team, so they're going to give it all they got, and we're expecting it, and we're going to give it all we got, too.